we're gonna do your swim analysis just getting started diving in this is you doing your first couple laps easy to get warmed up um, we're gonna talk about three different things today front end catch back end finish and hip rotation the first is the front end and the catch so the first thing that I noticed with a lot of master swimmers actually um, they're not getting that optimal catch position um, you are unique and you actually start your position out really really great so this is a good position because your arm is straight your elbow is high and your fingertips are actually pointing a little bit down getting ready to pull but when you start pulling you can see that your arm stays flat and you kind of pu push water down as opposed to pulling it back this is a picture of me in my catch position high elbow high wrist fingertips pointed down with you it looks like we're this is on both sides we're we're catching water at the beginning but then we're just pushing it down and we want to be pushing it backwards and still kind of towards the middle of your of your pole you're still pushing it a little bit down as opposed to straight back um, so I pulled a little video of Jenna swimming, and as you can see, she's wearing paddles. I'll show you which paddle she's wearing, but her fingertips are pointed down at the very beginning of her stroke. Um, she catches water, and then her fingertips go straight down, and she's pushing water back from the very beginning of her catch. So that's what we want to shoot for. Um, the second thing that I noticed on the catch phase is your hands are actually going way out to the side rather than shooting straight back. It really happens every time you take a breath and as you can see your center line is where the crown of your head is but your hand is way off to the side. You're pushing water out to the side as opposed to straight back. It happens on the other side too when you take a breath. Um, your hand is way off the center line and um, it kind of stems from not getting that catch position and not bending your elbow and keeping your elbow high. Your arms pretty much stay flat the whole way through. This is a picture of Jenna. As you can see, her hand is directly under her body and her elbow is a little bit bent. The first drill that we're gonna have you do here to practice your catch is called the Cranenberg, named after a swimmer that I used to swim with. It's just sculling, but sculling straight forwards and back. So you can do this two ways. You can do it like he's doing and do it one arm at a time, or you can have both arms out in front and find an alternating rhythm, right, left, right, left, which I tend to prefer. The second drill is pretty much doggy paddle. Um, and this is gonna help you practice keeping your arms straight down the middle of your body. And as you can see, you start the catch and you keep your hand straight down the middle of your body as opposed to shooting outside the center line. The second thing we're gonna talk about is the, um, the back end of your stroke, so the finish of your stroke. And as you can see here, the, the, one of the things that I noticed is you're not finishing your stroke all the way down past your hips. Your hand is coming out a little prematurely, as you can see. And the other thing that I noticed here is your, your hand is also not pushing water back at the end of your stroke. You're turning your palm inward, which is kind of causing your hand to slip past your hip as opposed to pushing water. This is a better view of it. As you can see, your hand is kind of turning in a little prematurely um, as opposed to just pushing water straight back. Here's a, a slow-mo video of myself here. Let's just pay attention to the, the end of the stroke. And here's a freeze frame. I'm still trying to keep my palm facing backwards and pushing water past my hip and then getting my hand out of the water. So we wanna finish our stroke all the way and keep our palm facing backwards. So we can optimize that finish and push water all the way past our hips and use all the power that we're generating from the front of our stroke to the back. So the first drill here is back sculling, just to get a feel of the water. Um, so it's regular sculling, you've probably done this drill before in masters, but um, just sculling past your hips, getting a feel for the water back there. This is a good thing to do during warm up or, or cool down. Um, the second drill is a, is a double tap. So you're gonna finish your stroke out of the water 
but then you're gonna bring your hand back to where it's supposed to finish. And this is just gonna practice placing your hand where it should be. So I want you to pay very close attention to where your hand exits the water and then place it back to where it was supposed to be on the finish. And the third lesson here is hip rotation. And right now you're, you're a very shoulder driven stroke, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it could lead to some shoulder injuries and, and not, uh, not as much power as we, or endurance as we wanna be seeing. So as opposed to shoulder driven, we wanna see hip driven. And we can do that by looking at the angle of your hips. And right now it's, it's not terrible, but it's a little flatter than it should be. We should be getting more on our side and we should be doing that by driving power from our hips. Here's a picture of Jenna. As you can see, you can't even see her top hip because she's pretty much completely on her side and that comes from the hips, not the shoulders. So we wanna think about that when we're swimming. And the other thing as you can see here is you kind of have a two bounce rhythm in your hips. Turn, 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 turn. We want that to be one constant fluid rhythm from side to side. And the first drill that we're gonna look at is bow drill. Again, you've done this before, but the focus on this bow drill, I want you to be thinking about your hips and stacking them one on top of the other, pretty much completely on your side. Easier to use fins for this one as with any drill here. If it's easier, put on fins, but really get on your side here and practice that hip position. And the second drill is reverse catch-up stroke. This one's a little more complicated, but you're gonna start with your hands at your side and you're gonna do a full stroke cycle before beginning the next stroke all starting and finishing at your hips. It gives you another rotation in your hips so you can think about what your hips are doing and having and how your shoulders and arms follow. So here's the summary of what we talked about. The first lesson is the front end and the catch. Um, we wanna set your stroke up for a powerful pull and the drills are that Cranenberg catch and the, the underwater recovery doggy paddle. Um, the second lesson here is the back end and the finish to generate more power from your hips and the drills are back sculling and the the double tap finish and the the last drill or the last lesson is hip rotation so we want to be relaxing our upper body and driving power from our hips and we can do that by practicing a bow drill and reverse catch-up stroke so that's all i got for you um let me know if you have any questions thanks